Well, hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use Orasma to create an aura that allows you to link to a web link or URL. The two things you need to know before we get started are the terms trigger image and the term overlay. So trigger image is either a picture, a poster, a book cover, some sort of image, a static image that you either put on a table, put on the wall that allows you to hover over top of it with the Erasma app and reveal what's called the overlay. And the overlay is kind of that magical thing that's hidden behind the scenes that only comes to life with the Erasma app. So that overlay can be a video, it can be a picture, and in our case today, it can be a web link. So this is a kind of a, a funky way to actually display a web link. There's a little trick to this that you'll learn today. So we're going to start by going to studio.erasma.com. Now I already have an account, so I'm going to log into Erasma Studio and use the information that I've already put into the computer. And once it loads, I'm going to choose the option over here on the right hand side to create a new aura. I'm going to click to upload my trigger image. Remember that's my picture, poster, book cover, etc. I'm not even gonna worry about the naming features. I'm going to simply click where it says browse and I'm going to choose the cover of my ebook that I want. I'm going to click Save, and this is going to be something I will later print and either put on a desk or post on the wall for students with the Erasma app to interact with. So now that my ebook cover has processed, it's complete as my trigger image, I'm going to click Next up here in the right hand corner and I'm going to click to upload an overlay. And I told you an overlay can be a video, it can be a picture, it can also be a web link. In order to get the web link to actually appear though, we need to choose another picture to put in as kind of a placeholder. So I'm going to choose the same picture I used before, my book cover, you could choose something else if you wanted. And this is where it gets a little bit glitchy, like I said, we have to use two pictures to reveal our web link. So you can see the outline of our picture here in kind of a pinky orange, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my web link. So over here is the information about my overlay. I'm going to add an action. So this gives me choices. Do I wanna add the action when the overlay is tapped or do I want to choose something else? I'm actually going to choose a time delay so people don't have to remember that they have to tap the overlay. So after one second, I'm going to load a URL. Now, I don't have a link here quite yet because I'm going to go over to my ebook that I created in Story Jumper. I'm going to choose to share my ebook so that I can get this link. So there's my link. I'm going to copy it, go back to Erasmus Studio, and paste it. And now, if I hit tab here on my screen, I should be able to see the save option. And you'll see that now I've added an action to my overlay. It's very important I hit save up here at the top and then I hit next, and you'll see here that it's already been shared, and that's great. Anyone that follows my channel on Erasmus should be able to see this once it's complete. So I'm going to go ahead and click close, and I should be able to find my aura somewhere here in my channel. I'm gonna give it a few seconds to load. I'm gonna print my trigger image, and I'll be back to show you exactly how it works all together. Okay, so I have the Erasmus app downloaded to my device. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And then I'm going to hover it over top of my Aura. And you'll notice after that one second delay, it actually launches my book. And I now have access to it. Ta-da!